Welcome to uh, the second video on my Physitechnic Bluetooth set. Um, consisting of a controller with two joysticks. Then uh, the Bluetooth controller or receiver with three motors and actually um, option for uh, or possibility for four motors. Three power motors and a servo motor, this one. And I can control one motor and the servo motor with this joystick and the other motor with this joystick. All via Bluetooth, which is not powered on yet. I will do that um, a little bit later. The purpose is to make a car, not a driving robot. But this time I have a, a challenge because of uh, two things. First of all, um, if you remember my uh, first driving robot, uh, Midfair, you can uh, find it in the playlist that are on my uh, channel. I have different wheels. Um, these are bigger and have to be mounted in a different way. Um, thinking about it, I should uh, do this differently altogether. So let me just take this off and mount it this way, um, which will be safer, uh, considering the distance of the axles that uh, are used. Another problem that I found is the next one. Every motor and of course I should have prepared this a little bit better but that's the way it is. Um, these motors have to be uh, used with a plate. Now this is not the original, it was made uh, by a German manufacturer who makes its own stuff. A little bit cheaper but it works. The only point is it has to be fixed with a screw. And guess what? I had to improvise the screw because yeah well I lack number of screws. So this is one thing this should be working and with everything set in place I should be able to test it so yeah let's fire this up um, why doesn't this work because of the simple fact that I um, took the battery off the wiring why because it turns out that if I leave it uh, wired then this uh, controller um, drains the battery pack. So let's reconnect. All right, and then with a different camera, which is unfortunately light sensitive, um, I will reconnect the battery. First, take the screw out. Reconnect this, mind the direction, put it in, and tighten the screw a bit. Alright, so now the flashlight is going. I say on, select, and uh, this should be working right away. And last time it already did. So I should be able to select it right away. Another time.
this is strange last time I had no problem doing it all over again then this should not be necessary at all just put it on and go unfortunately this proves not to be true Now it goes blue. Uh, let's see with the wheels. No. It should work be steady blue which it doesn't show so all right uh, let's go for the manual again and see why this isn't working unfortunately all right and of course it needs a battery pack because this has to have power now another problem is now they are not paired because they have to burn consistently so why would that be now this one has gone off let's power on press again I should not have to pair but I will do it anyway until they burn permanently and that is not happening yet he lost connection yep nothing happening yet now they are connected should be visible in the next thing yep and yep okay now they are doing something so let's elevate it or them um, just uh, like this and the same way for this one which goes in the other direction as with a carriage or um, or driving robot would be the case all right now you can also see the problem rising where do i get this one yes it has to be uh, in the middle of them at the, at the same time though um, I have, it has to be accessible and it looks like I have to be careful with the power so let's go again right okay so even with a little movement it goes quite fast and 
and now they are going to the same direction which is nice but also explainable because if you look at it uh, the connectors are reversed so here I have red and gr green and here I have red and green but if I would turn if I turn them ag uh, around the wires are reversed so because the wires are reversed the joysticks won't have to be reversed so that is one step towards a nice uh, carriage or driving robot and this is the hind wheel which I copied from um, a midfield robot and then I can assemble things so yeah I do need battery packs and the power controller which I used uh, in the last video is absolutely not sufficient um, because of some uh, frequency uh, well it is frequency modulation that it gives but I need a solid power a solid 9 volts to control it which is a good lesson so where to go from here alright um, to make a little bit of um, running robot I connected the two parts the two motors and it's not ideal by far but let's see how it ends up and the LED has gone off again so one single uh, push on the uh, on button makes it connect again so let's see how this works out not ideal at all yeah in fact I have to turn them around so it should be like this to make everything look uh, at least a little bit normal because now right is right side and left is the left side except that the motors should be attached fully uh, using these slides on both ends but at least left is left and right is right and when I fixed everything and I think they will be connected like this on the top side that won't make a difference in um, driving side, right side and left side right hand side and left hand side um, so back to why uh, did I have to pair again I have no clue probably because I started off with no battery pack but if I go here yeah well I should add a battery pack that will be battery no battery pack one and that will be nine volts and uh, let's turn it around Um, some controller which I don't have decided yet but this will remind me anyway of 
the battery pack that will be that has to be included and it is good that this one is again on uh, m3 and not an m2 but because m1 and m2 are on the same joystick and these one these are on the same joystick remains the question of course what will uh, what purpose what purpose will uh, this one be the servo motor but that is um, for next time i guess and with uh, this progress um, is the end of uh, this uh, episode so let's power it on again it's immediately paired and yeah you see the motors run in rather than um, the wheels but that will come next time anyway um, that's it for that uh, for now thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up leave a comment or suggestion uh, very much appreciated and um, you can also uh, follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Uh, please show your appreciation as well by making a donation via either PayPal or Wired. And you can also become a patron. And depending on the pledge you make, may have your name mentioned on my website or even videos. This is going to be continued. Uh, please take a look under this video for my, uh, URL of my website and more information. And in the final segment of this video, you will find the same information. Have a nice day. To be continued. Bye bye.